Hey, what's up? I'm Planet Walk, and welcome to part two on how to recreate Agar in Game Maker. So last time we made the player. This time we're going to add mechs. And that's going to be really simple. So first we want to do is we're going to make our... Actually, we've got this object. We'll turn this object into our controller object. And call it whatever you want, and I'm going to create an object. This object will be called mass. Okay, so it's going to be really simple. Our controller object is going to generate mass to make. There's also going to be a couple of other things. The next one's going to take a while to work out how to do, but this one's going to be quite easy. So, first, we want to do is we want to add a create event and then set the maximum amount of mass that can exist at one time to any number. So we're going to set this number to um, max mass will become and because we've only got a small test room we'll set it to 50. That should be more than enough. And we'll set this to um, hmm. so we'll go actually we only need to draw add a draw event to this one this one's just going to be shown not so add event draw draw code so this object we're not actually going to have it do anything, it will just exist. So I want to go draw uh, draw a circle and we're gonna go x y of uh, three pixels um, big and it will have no outline. Actually, technically it's six pixels big, but it's a radius. If I, yeah, right, R for radius. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that. Very simple. Set that up. Um, no, we haven't. One thing. Uh, we need to set the color. And we'll set the color to green. And that's what it will be. So that's that. We don't need any more. It's all set up. So now we're going to go player and we're going to add add to the step event. So instead of adding to, this, to that part, we're going to add some more code. Add another lot of code because that top part is mostly complete. Okay. So you're probably wondering how we're going to work this out if there's no collision. That's a good point. We're going to add a while event. And this is going to say while uh, the nearest piece of mass. So we're going to go, if I remember correctly, it's instance underscore nearest. x, y, and we go mass. So that'll always return true or something. But we are going to change it up a little bit. We are going to say while it is, well, we're going to say while distance to object. Uh, this may look a little bit messy. Okay, so while the distant object is smaller than, and we're going to take square root of mass, no, mass divided by pi. Easy. Uh, 
have uh, Gamera. Let's get rid of that. So, while, while we've got that, um, we are going to take this and put it in there. And this is, is going to go, we're going to say, we're going to say mass um, increments by one. And we are going to go with this object, we are going to destroy it. Which is done with instance underscore destroy. So that's pretty simple. No, not much to it really. I mean, we're not using collision. Collision would mean that we'd need to go create a sprite and things would get stuffed up. This one is going to make it look more like the real Agar. And with this one, we're going to be able to do a bit more with it. So, yeah. Uh, another event we have to add is we have to add a... Um, we have to add a step event. And this will be in step. And on this end step, we are going to say mass minus equals mass divided by, and we'll say, a thousand. And what this is going to do is it's going to reduce the mass as we go along. The more mass the player has, the faster the mass will reduce. And now we are going to go, and we will say that uh, low, this is a global variable, global dot consumed mass becomes, or oh, will oh, increment by. Um, mass and this will generate our mass this will help us generate our mass now we're going to go back into the controller object and we are going to say that we are going to add a step event and it's going to be begin step so at the end of the step every th extra calculations will be done and stuff like that so on the Begin, beginning of the step, the controller will go ahead and while global dot consumed mass is smaller than max mass. We are going to create instances of mass. Uh, and we are going to set, we are going to go I random I random range, and we're going to go zero to room. Room height, room width. So this will create it at a random place anywhere in the room. Do um, keep in mind that if you are using uh, Game Maker Studio, that uh, you cannot use this properly because it will just keep on creating its mess um, in the same place each time. So it's not really random, it's using a predefined seed. Um, don't know why they've done it, but that's what they've done. So while global.consumed mass is smaller than max mass, we do that. Oh uh, yeah, I almost forgot, we've got to choose what object it is. And we create an instance of mass. 
Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit easier to understand, and that will just be by going, putting it down here. So that will create instances of mass. Now, um, that's that, I think. Oh, yeah, one more thing is we've got to set global dot consumed mass to zero. Just reset it, reset it every time. And that should do some. Oh, yeah, another thing is for the time being, we are going to uh, draw text. Uh, we're going to show how much mass we've actually got. That way, oh yeah, another thing, we're going to round it as well. Because otherwise we'd get a decimal point because. So, x, and we're going to go y plus 20. No, y plus 12. y plus 12 for the time being. Actually, actually y plus 15. That's going to be best. And so, yeah, that should display how much mass we've got. And I th think, oh, yeah, uh, another thing. Go into controller and set uh, global dot consumed mass to equal five. No, um, ten. Yes, ten. And that should work. Actually, I got something slightly wrong. I didn't do this correctly. I believe that's what we want. Oh, yes. We copied and pasted a little bit too much. Don't do that. Don't <laughs> copy and paste too much. Room height. That should work better now. Okay, so what was out was we were trying to increase a variable that wasn't there. Increment a variable that wasn't there. Oh, I know what's wrong. We didn't add the controller in. So make sure you add the controller in. I usually put it up in the top left corner. That's my, that's my preference. But yeah, that's what we had wrong. Okay, so now things should work. I'm quite confident that things should work with one error. Don't know what that error is yet. Uh, the error is was gotten stuck in an infinite loop. Yes. I know what's gone wrong. Okay, so what had gone wrong? We should have increased consumed mass by one. Because what what a while loop does is it keeps on going through that until the condition it keeps on going through here until the condition up here isn't met. So while this is true, it'll keep on going. So what was happening is we didn't have this here to make it become true. And so it was infinitely going through there trying to make that true. That is what was happening. Now it should work. I'm 100% confident that it should work. So we will name ourselves cleaner. And something's happening. Okay, so what is happening here? I have a fair idea of what's going on. Uh, that was strange. We've got mass appearing somewhere. I know. I oh know. That's just something else. Um, yeah. So what is going on? Well, we'll we'll have to review our code to see what's going wrong. At least we know some features are working. But it seems that we are getting all the mass as soon as it spawns. Okay. So. Let's go. The only way we'll be able to find this out is if we go into our player object. So I, even I'm a little bit perplexed by this because we should actually put it by 20, which gives it a bigger area of effect. I'm going to do a bit of testing. So I, so I did a bit of research, and apparently the reason why 
things were going wrong was because we didn't have any masks. So we're going to go edit sprite, we're going to add a new sprite, uh, we're going to transform resize canvas, we're just going to set the width and all that to one pixel. A one pixel sprite shall be what we have. And we're going to go modify mask and we're going to bound, bounding box full image uh, rectangle. And so now we have our thing. And we'll call this uh, sprite. Um, let's call it the um, thing. Uh, hmm, I don't know. We'll call it. Sprite. Mm -hmm. Just call it Sprite. Because it's just got to be there. Not really doing anything. So now we have a player. And now we have this. And now it should work. Hopefully. Praise the heavens if it does. Uh, yes, it sort of works. <laughs> it made a little bit too much mass though. Getting too big. Um, yeah, it worked. It did. But, created far more mass than we actually wanted. I know why. I know why it, gen I know why it generated so much mass. Uh, because we didn't account for all the bits of mass that were lying around. So it was generating mass while we had mass. So now when um, this gets below 50, mass is just going to appear everywhere until we collect all that mass. Okay, so here's the way to prevent that. We just go up top here and go global.consumedMass plus equal the instance instance number of mass and now it will check the amount of mass and I've worked out that 50 may be a little bit too small okay so I'll set that to 200 so every time we drop below 200 mass uh, on in the place it'll spawn more mass so let's see how this works and yeah so this thing here is spawning mass as we lose mass. Uh, I'll probably just make the mass a little bit bigger if, when I put it up. So, yeah, that is it for this tutorial. And I'll probably decrease the amount of mass as well. So this just... It just generates mass ra in random positions and it allows us to eat it so far. Next tutorial, I will be showing you how to zoom in and out of the map which is going to be very, very difficult, so it's probably going to be a long tutorial. So anyway, that was the tutorial on how to add mass. Leave a like and subscribe if you like this video, and comment on any questions you may have about this, because I know that I'm probably not explaining it as much as I probably should, but I don't know what to go into detail about what you need to know about. So I'm just showing you how to do things. If you want to know more, I will reply to your comment and tell you why. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.